Expect a mix of sun and clouds on Friday with some spotty rain developing. Good Thursday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, it's all quiet across the southeast tonight. You'll notice some snow out west in California in the higher hills, but it's mainly a rain event south of San Francisco. You head up near Boise in Idaho. They've got some snow and a mix and more snow across western Montana and northwest of Winnipeg. But speaking of Canada, they've got some snowflakes flying around French-speaking Quebec, Montreal, sliding into the state of Maine, but nothing here. We have some high clouds overhead. That's about all we'll see tonight. Maybe, just maybe a stray drop or flake overnight. And we'll talk about that in just a second. 49 was the high temperature today at McGee Tyson Airport. My forecast was for 49. That put us six degrees below normal for the first day of meteorological winter. That's what December 1st represents. Uh, we started off at a very cold 27. Some of you may have started off at 23, 24, uh, but the normal low this time of year is 35. We hit 49 in Maryville today. 51 in Teleco Plains and 46 in Crossville this afternoon. Further west, Nashville hit 48 and it was 50 degrees in Memphis this afternoon, but still pretty chilly for this time of year. Tracking the clouds, most of them are high thin clouds, but maybe just maybe if some of those clouds thicken up, we could get a little bit of false echoes, maybe some verga as we like to call it. That's the moisture that evaporates before it reaches the surface, but we may see something develop before morning is here. We'll keep an eye on that all the same, especially if you're working maybe the third shift. You know, Christmas is just, what, 24 days away? Season's greetings on a cold night. I'm thinking like the Griswolds, you know, the Christmas vacation. We'll ease back by some 40 degrees at 7, 35 at 11, and by 3 in the morning, we're back in the low 30s. Some of you will be in the upper 20s when you wake up tomorrow morning. I throw on the Christmas lights to get you in the holiday spirit. I will throw in some green ones too, but also a very cold night. Expect it tonight, maybe just not as cold as this morning. So I say Merry Christmas to you. Some of you are hoping for a white Christmas. We'll have to wait and see as we get closer, but I do suspect we'll see some flakes before this month is through. Drought monitor, it came out again today. Looks a lot like last week's because the rain that we had Tuesday night was not reflected in this map. You say, how on earth could that be? It's because they cut the data off on a Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. It takes supercomputers a couple of days to process the data and then they release their findings uh, on Thursday mornings. So we basically got the rain between their cutoff time and their release time. So it's just what they do. But again, they're taking into stream flows and soil moisture and rainfall and creeks and levels, all sorts of lake levels. They're taking all that into account. So we still have a severe drought in places like Madisonville, Tallahassee, Teleco Plains, Knoxville technically is still under a moderate drought. That's level two out of five categories. That includes Maynardville. It includes Rutledge and it includes Kodak and Jefferson City. Now it is getting worse. It seems like in Orange, just northeast of Jackson and from Huntsville all the way into parts of Middle Tennessee. So we'll be watching that. I think once we get the rain this weekend, we'll make a dent in some of their uh, at least definitions. Tracking the radar, maybe a few specks there just in northern sections of Arkansas. Uh, again, that's what I'm talking about. A few echoes may arrive here before sunrise tomorrow. So here's the future rainfall for at least for the next couple of days. Not expecting much tonight, but by the time we hit Friday night, Saturday, Saturday, we're thinking like parade time. In some cases, we're looking about a quarter, maybe just under a half inch in Jamestown for potential rainfall amounts. But at least a quarter for most and maybe a little bit more for others. But then again, nothing that we haven't seen before. We obviously had a, a two inch rainfall of uh, Tuesday afternoon, evening and into Wednesday morning of this week. So our headlines look like this mix of sunny clouds Friday. Some spots of rain redevelop Friday afternoon, evening. And then there's more rain knocking on the door Friday night and into Saturday. So my headlines expecting quite a bit uh, as we come into that time frame. But look at the snow reports. I can't make this up. Every little circle represents a snow measurement that's come into the National Weather Service. So quite a few up here in the Pacific Northwest. That's easy where all of it has been piling up. Some areas getting four and a half, five and a half, I should say. Uh, looks like they got uh, some cases here in Montana, four inches here. Parts in my, ooh, 13 inches. Where's that? That's in Ferry County, Washington. Higher elevations, I imagine. Uh, 8.3 inches. So if you like snow, they've had quite a bit out west, no doubt. And it continues even this evening. So here's the future cast. Tonight we're going to find quiet weather. A little bit of speck of green there near, uh, where's that, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. That's one time. That's 11 o'clock. Overnight, it may appear, it looks like just west of Huntsville. So you want to be a little bit, just oh, doesn't take much to make a drop of rain or a flurry when it's cold. So that's about 4.30 in the morning. And then it tries to move north of Huntsville. 
That's what I'm talking about. Maybe a spot here or spot there. And then it disappears. And then we get ready for what's coming in from Memphis by Friday evening. So, well, that's, how's that going to happen? Look like this. Woo wow, that's three o'clock. Mean it developed like that in just a few short hours? Yes, it did. Three o'clock, winds picking up. I see those red arrows. So in advance of this front, this is three o'clock Saturday morning. The rain is beginning to fill in and the amounts that we just showed you represent what this would do. So it could drop in about a quarter, maybe as much as a half inch in spots. So that's seven o'clock Saturday morning. If it slows down, it could linger, especially in the higher elevations. There's 2.30 in the afternoon and it may still be raining for maybe a hiker. Someone who's hiking this weekend may find more rain even Saturday afternoon. But then by the time we hit Sunday, it looks like most of it's gonna to stay to our south and we'll get maybe some drizzle, not much more than that. So that's Sunday, and I think Monday will come in more late in the afternoon and evening for rain. So for tonight, down to 31, more clouds, a stray drop or flake after midnight before the sun's up, winds about zero to five miles per hour. But lows tonight in the upper 20s. If you're in Scott County, Oneida, mid-20s. If you're in Middlesboro, Bell County, 30 for Sevierville, about 32 in Oak Ridge, and 31 Knoxville and Kingston. Friday, looking for a high of 56, mix of sun and clouds, spotty rain late, and winds tomorrow should be out of the northeast, about 5 uh, to 10 miles per hour. So that's what I'm expecting by then. Now, as far as to Friday, looking for a 56-degree high in La Follette, 58 in Newport, 55 Kingston, Oak Ridge, and Clinton, and mid-50s for Crossville, Crab Orchard, and Fairfield Glade. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. 59 on Saturday, 60% chance of showers. Drizzle possible Sunday. I think it's really only a lock and reload because Tuesday and Wednesday, you ready for this? Bum, bum, bum. Tuesday and Wednesday could have quite a bit of rain that rolls into town. I suspect, I suspect we could have uh, two to three inches. We could have two to three inches of rain in that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. So some soggy periods of time, uh, and it will be warm enough. It will be just rain. Uh, but after that, all, all is open, uh, fair game for some colder weather to intrude as we move into the middle part of December. That's what I'm seeing. But we're talking more about that on the premium side. So if you want to join me on there, that's awesome because that's what, that's what it's designed to do, to get you through the journey that is this upcoming winter. And if you need to know more about that, go to CaptainAccurate.com. In the meantime, my free app, the Captain Accurate Weather App with Pete Michaels Traffic. It's free. It's the App Store Google Play. Just search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.